My name is Araman. I'm calling from uh, New Jersey. All right, from New Jersey, United yeah. States. Go ahead, ask your question, please. Yeah, so grace be with you all and uh, the children and the soldier of Christ. So I'm asking this question that the Lord, a vision actually that the Lord shows me after a seven days of fasting uh, with um, the, His grace, the Happy Java Last Covenant about the prayer, I mean, the peace prayer conference that was held you know, worldwide. So after three days of the fasting, the Lord came to me and when he showed up, he sat down on the bench and on his side was kind of, uh, a, a, I don't know how to call it in English, a vase, like something you can pour water in. And he said to me, fetch water in this vase. So I was excited to rush into the well. There was a big well that I was fetching water out of the well to pour it into the into the vase that was next to the to the Lord. And after doing that, he said to me, then let's cook. I heard the word let's cook. And then I woke up. Okay. I did not understand the meaning of the cooking, but uh, I fed the water anyway. All that right. So the last word that you said, the Lord said in the vision is that let's cook. Let's cook. Okay. Uh, let me make sure I understand you clearly. You are referring to COOK. Yes, COOK. Okay, that's good. Now, um, first thing is that you said you had the experience after the Global Peace Prayer Conference, right? Yeah, yes. Now, was this a vision like a dream or was it an open vision? You are awake? Were you sleeping before you have it? Yeah, it was, a, it was a sleeping. I was in a sleeping state. Okay, so it means it's kind of like a vision of the night. It's a dream. Yeah. Okay, so when you... You did not understand what that means, and you woke up. When you now woke up, what did you do with that? What did yes, you do after now, that? Yeah, I was wondering, and I keep on praying about it, asking the Holy Spirit to reveal more of the dream and give me more details. Yeah. Okay. So, but now, now that you are mentioning the, the importance of writing down a dream or anything we had, so. I kind of uh, see now why I should have written it down and maybe meditate upon it. Okay. So maybe the Lord may show up, may show something different. I mean, that can connect to the dream. So, praise God. All right. So just to answer, to help you faster, you already have gotten the lesson. You did not write down anything, so you do not prove to heaven that you want to know better about it. So your effort of prayer to know more. Uh, cannot generate to you a, a further, a better response faster for interpretation. Okay. Once you now, but the Lord has still answered you anywhere to help you to be part of the program now. So that's still part of the way the prayer you have been praying is answered. You see, the way the Lord answers prayers is different from the way we think generally. Once you pray like you prayed, the Lord cannot give you the interpretation to that dream directly by you you do not have the grace and the wisdom to be able to understand anything so he now answered that prayer by channeling you to acquire more knowledge which is why he brings you to this program you do not actually be part of this program today by yourself the holy spirit brought you to the program because it was the way he wanted you to see the answer to the prayer you have prayed so i want you to just have that to know that it's not like as you prayed you did not know anything. It means God did not answer the prayer. No, the prayer was answered. And part of the answer is why you are in the program today. Okay. Now, before I now say something else, have you been following my programs on this Christ Disciples Fellowship every Sunday or this is your first time? No, I'm part of it. I have a, I've been receiving messages from, from the platform. Okay. okay. No, what I mean is that are you have you followed my Sunday like last Sunday message uh, meeting the first Sunday of the month of May I, our last program were you there? 
Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was. Yeah. So now, once you go and write, the things that will always happen once you have whether it's a dream, whether it's an open vision, generally it will be dreams mostly, because the Lord speaks to us primarily through the Spirit in you. But because we are too busy and so much of the word is not inside, we cannot be able to dictate the stick small voice when he's speaking. So most times when he's supposed that you are quiet, sleeping. So he, he speaks to people generally most of the time during dreams. So once ever you have a dream or any vision or any thought or idea, like as I said from Christ, understanding what it means doesn't matter. What is there is that you will have a witness that will make you know that this is important. You must have the consciousness but just be there that this is important. If you, if you don't even understand what it means. Yeah. Once you have that consciousness that this is important, what God is telling you to do is that is to prove to him that if it's important, then save it, store it. That's the place of writing now. Once you move to do that, now when you are praying for interpretation, the Lord will help you for the interpretation. Most times you may not be able to interpret direct because the interpretation of visions, dreams are actually also a, a special area of giftings in the prophetic. So if you don't have that grace and that office, the Lord may help you now to personally connect or meet somebody that can do that for you. But the ability to go to go understand will be coming higher once you have proven by storing the information. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Which also means that whenever you dream and have any information, whether dream, vision, or whatever, you document it. Know very well that even if you understand, even if you have the interpretation the very time you pray, because every spiritual revelation, which is visions and all those things, they are coming from the Spirit. They will always have a lot in them than whatever you see. So even if you receive the interpretation, there will still be more details there that will come with time. That's why it is important to always document. Like as I explained, by reading through what you document, you will even be remembering that some of the things that you could not easily remember even as you are telling me now, you will be remembering them when you are writing, when you are documenting that down. The explanation and the clarity also follows suit that way. And so sometimes people's divine mission, ultimate divine mission or work uh, can be captured through visions of dreams, open visions, but generally there will always be first the message in your heart through the inner voice. So like now, I cannot go because of the time, I cannot go into the details to start looking at the details of that but i already have an information in my spirit because of the grace of the gift of interpretation of dreams what that cooking mean what the water mean but for now all what i will help you to do is to go and write down that and then uh when you write it you pray again and then if you pray because the lord now can speak to you even other dreams to explain you the dream you have when you do that write down and pray again and get any other information under it you note it down as well. You can send me a text and in indicate to me. I will find time now to look at what you have. And then I will help you about what that means. Yes, sir. My name is uh, Shay. I'm in Calgary, Canada. Can we get your camera, please? Sorry, those are my children are all here. to start at home. But that's right. All right, go ahead and ask the question if you have a, a challenge in terms of the image. You don't want the image to be seen, whatever. Go ahead and ask the question. Okay, so I have. I know you said we should write down every dream, but there are some dreams that uh, is, for example, if you are believing God for something and then you have a dream, but the dream is contrary to what you are believing God for, um, and maybe you already have a conviction in your spirit or even even a memory uh, a verse from the bible that uh, assures you guarantees you what you are trusting God for but the dream is contrary or a, a second scenario could be that the dream is 
is you can't make something out of it. It's, maybe it's uh, devilish or the money for something. So okay. is it all dreams that we will write down or no. with the help of the Holy Spirit? Okay. Praise God. For the sake of time, let me just answer faster. I did not say you must write down every dream. And because I'm not even capitalizing about dreams, there's a lot of hallucination in dreams and even visions. So I'm talking about divine visions, which means revelations that you got from your heart. And the aspect of dreams and spectacular dreams and visions outwardly like that, they are just to support that. So what I said you must write is the ones you get in your heart as revelations through the inner voice. Now, when it concerns dreams on the note of dream, because it's not everything about dream that relates to the divine, ultimate divine purpose and work. So that cannot be what I'm referring. You cannot write every dream first because you don't need every dream. So why do you write every dream? You only write a dream when you receive the dream. I explained it when I was explaining concerning the situation of that, our brother first. You will first of all have a witness, a clarity in your spirit that this thing is important for me. You will have the witness of the spirit in your heart trying to want to understand that because the Holy Spirit is giving you a witness that that dream has a message for you. That's the one you write because it's a message you are looking for. You don't write what is not a message. So if you have any dream, for example, you're praying for a certain breakthrough, I have a dream about that breakthrough, you're not looking for a message there. But if you have the dream, and you are having a witness to want to understand it, it means you are looking for a message. And because you can't understand, it's the ability to get understanding of what you have that require you to write down. So if you already have a dream, it's showing devilish in an attack, you already know what that means. Why do you want to understand what again there? Because once you have a dream, and as I said, it, because if I suppose to talk more about dream, it has to be a subject on its own, a complete time only for dreams, not even for one month kind of thing. Because the, the area of dream is a very vast area. So, but the point is that once you have a dream, you already have by your judgment that that dream is bad or evil, whatever. So that conclusion doesn't demand you to want to know anything about the dream. So that dream is not to be recorded. It's not an information you should store. I hope that is clear. Yes, yes, thank you very much. It is that once you have a dream or a vision, it has to relate with the aspect of revelations in your heart, in your spirit. Then your heart now is finding out to know. The documentation permits you to now access better interpretation and insight. But if by the dream itself you do not see that question of you already know what it means, you already have clarity and that. There's no need to document it except if in the dream there's a message there from the Lord which you have also a witness that you should keep. Apart from that, you don't. But generally, it's things you pray for, like you're praying for God to reveal to you your divine purpose in life. Why am I in this earth? You receive information as revelation in your heart as thoughts. Those informations are all a clear part of that message. You document them. If sometime after that kind of prayer, you also have dreams that relate to that. Because you want to understand what it means, you document. But if it is not within around the frequency of you expecting to know from what uh, you have seen, there's no need to write down. Okay. But also, on the other hand of caution, you lose nothing if you write down a dream that you don't, which may not even be needful. You lose nothing. But you will lose everything if you do not write down the dream that was a message from you. So, may you use your judgment. God bless you. Amen. Any other question? Alright, I think we can end here for today. Hallelujah. Go ahead and thank God for what you have received. Uh, we bless God for this time. I thank God for every one of you who have connected to the program. And I pray that this explanation that the Holy Spirit has used me to give to us will bear fruits in your heart, will bear fruit in your life. Let us begin to practice the word of God that we have received. Don't sit and wait for God to show you everything and tell you everything in detail before you start making moves. Start making moves to document the one you have already known and you have heard, the one you receive. 
the one he has witnessed you as important as it is and then you begin to move forward whenever God tells us to do something and you can't do don't sit and say well I can't do it move by start asking him to tell you help you and grant you grace on how to do it the Lord Jesus Christ even our Lord when he was praying the Bible records that sometimes he cannot pray effectively except angels will come and strengthen him so you also can have angelic strengthening when you are in prayer you can't pray but if you say well I'm feeling weak I cannot pray no and so by this these are also the importance of writing things down sit down and plan yourself you, you should make a plan a, you should have a time a timetable or a schedule of what I call divine calendar of the time you pray the time you study the world the time you do things which are important and if you have that in record when the time reach you are supposed to do it and you are feeling weak you can trust God and ask for the angels to strengthen you like they did to Christ if Jesus Christ God in human form needs angels to strengthen to assist him to pray then nobody can escape not needing them then nobody should condemn himself for not doing better as you're supposed to in your prayer on your studying of the word God needs those who are available he doesn't need those who are able if only you are available and determined to do what he will say he will make you able so I'm praying and I'm revealing to you by this revelation that there are angels to strengthen us when we pray that means there are angels to strengthen us to study the world there are angels to assist us even concerning interpretation of the revelations and dreams at, at best the Holy Spirit himself dwelling in you as a child of God if you are there as a child of God if you believe and you have received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior then you are saved you have the Holy Spirit in you and you can have the Holy Spirit as your guide as your strengthener ask him the questions you want ask him even if you don't understand any feedback the things that he revealed the ones you know the ones you don't know as it's clear start writing down and taking note to understand better the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth to guide us into our truth he knows the truth of that vision you have that dream you have that idea that revelation he will tell you better the Holy Spirit is our helper is there to help us the Holy Spirit is our teacher is there to teach us the Holy Spirit is our strengthener even the Lord Jesus Christ who came down as God in the image of man could not fulfill his assignment without the help of angels without the help of the Holy Spirit so let us make use of these helpers in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ I pray for you as you have understood that not long from now you should begin to have clearly on a book or on a paper or on a document what you can start saying this is what I'm seeing now with the eyes of my spirit with my heart of what is my divine vision my divine mission this is what I'm seeing now this is what God will want me to, what I know Lord what next what next you don't ask God for next when you have not done anything to document or save what you have received I pray that grace to take serious documenting everything you receive and you have a witness that's a revelation and information from God receive the grace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ <laughs> receive the grace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ I pray for the grace to pray the right prayer praying right the prayers of inquiry asking questions prayer approach in worship before God talking to God like you are talking to me and believing he's talking back to you and you will get the feedback even as thoughts and ideas the grace to pray the right prayers according to the perfect will of God receive it now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ the grace to ask the right question to God at all times receive it now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ I pray as we have understood the important for us to finish our divine work divine mission in this earth before living as important as it is than even food may the Lord increase in you the passion to seek to discover and if you have discovered to pursue your divine work on your daily divine assignment in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ I pray that you and me 
who say like Christ before transition to glory that the mission is finished. It is finished. If you agree and believe, that will be your portion that you will say it is finished. The mission is finished. You will not be like the man with one talent that disappointed the master. I pray that you will also say it is finished. And if you believe and agree, say, I believe. I will finish my God's ordained assignment to the perfect completion of my ultimate divine mission. And I will say it is finished like my Lord Jesus Christ before my transition into glory to meet with my Lord the Master whom I believe will say to me well done good and faithful servant this is my portion nothing will rob me of it not even food not even pleasure not even the worldly things including materialism and money will not rob me from completing my divine mission by the help of the holy spirit i consider it done amen praise the lord give the lord a clap of praise wherever you are thank him for what you have received today give him all the praise father let it be so upon your children in jesus almighty name amen therefore as i release you i pray that anything that affects your health your body your consciousness to discover your consciousness to pursue your divine work the will of the father to finish that ultimate divine mission by that determination, I ask the heaven to release all the angels who are responsible for the health of God's servants. For the word of God says, God will take away sickness and disease from those who serve him. Your determination to finish his work, it means you are determined as his servant. And therefore, let the angels in charge of divine health begin to locate you now. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord by this fulfill the evidence of his word. Even as he said by the stripes of Jesus. You were healed. So let it be in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Go and do exploit. I release you in this week. With the grace for exploit. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I release you into this week. With the blood of Jesus going ahead and speaking on your behalf and causing men and women to locate you with divine favor in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord's financial divine favor will decorate you from this day forward in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. All areas of your life where the devourer has been devouring your finances and your world, the Lord rebuke that devourer for your sake in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord protect you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you always. The Lord will continue to cause the angels to be with you in all that you do. And you will be successful always now and forevermore. In Jesus almighty name. Amen. Praise God. So you are released. Our next program will be next. So, the so first Sunday of the month of June. Praise the Lord. What's it? Next Sunday. June 5th. So there is the next Sunday. Praise the Lord. Go share the good news. You can always make sure you follow the messages on my YouTube page. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions. And the Lord will continue to help us. Bye everyone for now. Have a wonderful Sunday. And a great week. Amen.